Okay, Assalamualaikum. This video is about the last step in chemical analysis. Step 6 which is weighing and drying precipitate. So, the weighing for precipitate is weight using sensitive analytical balance and we have two methods to calculate the amount of analyte in the weighing form which is chemical factor and gravimetric factor. So, the result of gravimetry determination usually is reported as a percentage of analyte. So, the percentage of analyte is the sample is equal to weight of the analyte divided by weight of sample times 300%. So, two value needed in the calculation which is the first one is the weight of analyte constituent desire and also the weight of the sample. So, by using the chemical factor, so the calculation of the weight of the constituent in given precipitate, we don't follow this equation, which is this one is the molecular weight of the precipitates. Okay, ratio by, this one is the atomic weight of the molecular weight and N is the number of uh, atomic weight, uh, weight uh, of molecular weight. And N is also the molar mass, uh, I, mean, I mean it's the mole, okay, is equal to W, which is the weight of the precipitates, and X is the weight of analyte, uh, with this side. So usually this value, okay, and then this value, and this value are recorded in your questions. Okay, they have been in your... Okay, now the method used is gravimetric factor, which is for me is quite easy compared to chemical factor. So, first you need to calculate the gravimetric factor. So, how to calculate the gravimetric factor? You just um, calculate the molar mass of your analyte divided by molar mass of your precipitates times with your uh, relative uh, mole in your molecular formula. Okay, this is sum of gravimetric factor for each analyte and also their weight of form. So, let's say here, so silver chloride, so the analyte should be chloride, molar mass of chloride divided by molar mass of silver chloride. So, divide by 1 since uh, they have 1 more and 1 more. Okay, let's say here. So, iron outside. So, the analyte is iron and then the, uh, the um, precipitate is iron to oxide. So, as you can see here, they have two electron, uh, two mole for iron. So, you need to divide by two because this one only have one uh, mole. So, one over two. If you don't want to divide by one and two here, so you just iron. So, this one have two. So, you times with two. So, you get the same answer. And then to get the weight of analyte, what you need to do is you calculate the gravimetric factor here and then you times with weight of weighing form. So let's go to the sum of the example. So it's a method one for uh, chemical factor. So example here, determination of iron oxide. So, 1 gram of iron compound after suitable treatment yields 0 0.1565 gram of peroxide. So, this is your mass of precipitate. So, to calculate the percentage of iron in the compound, so you write down the formula. So, this is your molar mass for iron to oxide. So, iron, you have 2 here. So, you need 2 times with 2. This is mass of uh, precipitates here. And then, you need to find out what is the mass of analyte. So, after the calculation, you get that the mass of analyte is 0 0.1095 gram. So, after that, you get your uh, mass. So, need, going to need the uh, find the percentage of analyte. So, mass of your analyte divided by mass of your samples. That's with 100. So, the samples so you weigh is 1 gram. Your analyte as you calculate. Okay, let's uh, next uh, pass slide and then your time is 100% so you get the answer okay next is same question but different method so this is by using gravimetric factor so first you need to find out the gf value gravimetric factor value so how to calculate this one okay uh, molar mass of ions divided by molar mass of heavy ions so it's divided by one or divided by two or you times with two here so you get the Answer. And then next, you just 
times with the weight of form, weight form, weight of precipitate, and then you get the same answer, the mass form, and then, like, and then you just fill up these final equations, mass of analytes, here you get from here, divide by mass of sample from the equation, which is 1 gram times with 100, and then you get the same answer, times 0.95%. Okay, let's go to one of example before we end our lecture for chapter 6. So, this question uh, is like this in one gravimetric analysis. So, aluminium in 1.2 gram sample of impure. So, uh, precipitate as hydrous. So, this is the precipitate form which is then filtered and ignited in 1000 cent Celsius to give anhydrous aluminum oxide which weight is 0.1798 so as you can see uh, your analyte is aluminum here yeah? and then your precipitate should be aluminum to side and the mass of precipitate is 0.1798 so this example I'm going to use gravimetry factor so how first you need to find the gravimetry factor so the analyte in the equation is aluminum and the precipitate is aluminum oxide so molar mass aluminum you must uh, divide by molar mass of aluminum oxide. So alum aluminum here one aluminum, this one is two aluminum. So I need to times me two here. So after that, this is molar mass of aluminum, and I need to times me two. Okay, and then define it from here, and then you get this answer. This is the mass of uh, this is the value of gravimetry factor. Okay, this is how to calculate the gravimetry factor. And then to get the mass of aluminium, so the gravimetry factor, you need to times with the mass of precipitate. From here, you can see this is the mass of precipitate. So I use, okay, this is mass of precipitate. So you times with the gravimetry Factor and then lastly you get this answer the mass of analyte. So to cap calculate the percent eliminate in the sample, you just get uh, use this mass here you get from this calculation. So you just divide by mass of sample, which is here mass of sample. Okay, 0 0.09522 you get from here. You buy by 1.2 times 100%, so you get the final answer 7.95%. So if you fill up all these calculations, okay, you write down all these calculations, the total mark for this question is actually 6 mark. So each step is 2 mark. Okay, so you can uh, actually uh, do the another uh, exercise from the notes and also from the passive paper. So if you have any problem regarding on the calculation, you can ask your lecturer. Okay, that's all um, for chapter 6. Thank you.